The term cult has many different connotations and can mean lots of things to different people. In general, cults typically include a religious component and some level of isolation from the rest of the world. The following celebrities grew up in cult-like situations, some more intense than others, but all outside the mainstream. The Arquettes Actor David Arquette was born in a Sioux Bud commune in Virginia, where he lived briefly with sisters and future fellow thespians Patricia and Rosanna along with their parents. Sioux Bud is a non-sectarian Indonesian spiritual movement based in meditation. On an episode of WTF with Mark Marin, Patricia said her family left the commune, which had no electricity, bathrooms, or running water, when its members' true colors started to reveal themselves. Oh, that dude has a real anger management problem, and this yeah. person's an alcoholic, and that other thing, and this person's greedy, and oh, what are we doing here? After leaving Virginia, Patricia said her family returned to Chicago before settling in Los Angeles. Rose McGowan In 2011, Charmed alum Rose McGowan revealed to People magazine that she spent the first nine years of her life growing up among the Children of God sect in Italy. At first, she claimed the setting was really idyllic, but she later rebelled against the cult's hippie lifestyle and rigid gender roles, saying, quote, I did not want to be like those women. They were basically there to serve the men sexually. Things took a turn for the worse when McGowan's father reportedly feared his daughter might be molested by members of the group, prompting their family to escape and flee to America. Glenn Close Close's family joined the radical conservative missionary group called Moral Rearmament when she was just seven. The actress told the Daily Beast that she lost her sense of individuality during this time. It's cult living where you're told what to say and how to act. It's very sexually repressive and yet you're supposed to be remaking the world. As a child, it's catastrophic because that's where you're trying to figure out who you are. She escaped the situation at the age of 22 but told The Hollywood Reporter that the experience negatively affected her for years afterward, forcing her to doubt her instincts. Tony Braxton in her Unbreak My Heart memoir, the famous R&B singer revealed that she joined Pillar of Truth, a Pentecostal apostolic group, with her family as a young girl. She said her family fell into religious extremism, where women and their nakedness had to be covered up in full and almost everything was considered evil, including going to the movies. The group allegedly required its members to speak in tongues, which Braxton reportedly faked at eight years old just to keep up. According to the Daily Mail, the Braxton subsequently joined two more repressive churches before finally joining a more mainstream congregation. Angel Hayes The Detroit-based rapper was raised in the Pentecostal Greater Apostolic Faith Commune. The lifestyle was reportedly extremely insular, with its members all living in the same community within 10 minutes of each other. I wasn't allowed to listen to music or have friends that were outside of it or like generally like associate with other people. Hayes says she also wasn't allowed to wear jewelry, to eat certain things, or go on dates. She went to church three days a week unless there was a revival which required daily church attendance. She told The Guardian she used to just crawl under a bench and try to sleep. Anybody can say anything to you, and if you're like weak enough or dumb enough or just don't care enough to believe it, uh -huh. then they're going to exploit you. Joaquin Phoenix In the 1970s, the Phoenix family was also part of the Children of God, which is now known as the Family International. Joaquin spoke about his experience in a 2014 interview with Playboy. My parents had a religious experience and felt strongly about it. I think my parents thought they'd found a community that shared their ideals, but I think the moment my parents realized there was something more to it, they got out. Joaquin's family moved to California and changed its last name from Bottom to Phoenix after leaving the community. The actor cautioned against passing judgment on his family or other members of the group, saying, quote, I think it was really innocent on my parents' part. They really believed, but I don't think most people see it that way. I've always thought that was strange and unfair. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.